Hey guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. Just wanted to put together a uh, kind of a quick video, I guess, just to talk about a couple things that seem to be plaguing ham radio. You know, a few years back when I became a ham, you know, I came in very naive. You know, I, 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 you read the books and you see things like by Gordon West and these guys that are really uh, knowledgeable guys. And they say, fine, and Elmer, uh, you know, the older guys uh, really know what they're talking about. And, um, you know, that's great. I'm sure they do. There are some amazing people. I've learned a lot from guys in my club or whatever. But when it comes to social media, there just seems to be this uh, phenomenon that I, I just... I don't understand. I really don't. Um, you know, I, I came into ham radio thinking I would learn and I have learned. I've learned, I thought I would learn a lot about, you know, RF and, and, and radio and, and, and that type of thing. But I think one thing I've learned more about is human psychology. And, um, there seems to be one thing rampant in ham radio that just drives me crazy. And it's sad and it's kind of bothering me. It's bothered me for a while. And uh, I felt like I'd put this uh, video together kind of uh, as therapy for me. I can get it off my chest and move on, forget about it. But, you know, I'm really, I'm just taken aback by the gatekeepers. And you guys know who they are. They're, the, you know, the, they've got their own name now. People call them sad hams. And, uh, you know, that's, it's, it, it's really is sad. Who would have thought that a hobby where you would have to study and, um, and, and, and learn in order to get into, you know, and get, and get licensed to get into. Maybe that's the problem, but uh, I don't know. But you would think that, that this hobby would have a little bit more about it as far as how people treat other people. It's just amazing. And, and, and this, please, I'm not singling out everyone here. I know it's probably a small percentage, but for some reason, this small percentage seems to hang out on social media. And you know, as my channel's growing, getting bigger, I experience it more and more. And I'm cool. I'm thick skinned. I put myself out there. I, you know, I, I take whatever is dished at me. But it bothers me because I, I see, and in this day and age where social media is so big, I see so many new people coming into the hobby, and they want to learn, and they ask the question, and they just get beat down. I mean, just it's horrible. Uh, you know what what you see uh, said and done to some of these people, and you guys know who they are. They're the guys that always start off a comment with their resume. Well, I've been a ham for 56 years and blah, blah, blah. You know what? Who cares? I don't care. I, I haven't been a ham for 56 years. I've just been a ham for a few years. And, and by all means, I'm not an expert either. I don't claim to be. Uh, what what I like to do is uh, experiment and document my experimentation, you know, on YouTube and, and learn as I go along. You know, I, I had an incident. It's probably one of the things that drove me to doing this video today. I had no plans to do this, but it was kind of like one of the final straws. I have a video out there and a pretty recent one. And uh, and I'm, I'm building an antenna on a pier, you know, and this guy comes in and he um and I'm sure the guy's knowledgeable. I would have liked to have a good conversation with the guy. But he, in the comments, he wrote a uh, a dissertation. It was about two pages long in the comments telling me everything I did wrong, what I did right, what I did wrong. And that's cool. I would have really liked to have continued and have, and that's why I love this channel to have a, you know, a good thing with it. But in the middle of it, you know, he calls me a jackass, which, you know, Where'd that come from? I don't get it. But, um, you know, and then it, and then at the very end, um, he had a link to his blog all about saltwater antennas and how to do it. And I was like, Oh, okay. There we go. You know, I, that, that is a, uh, that there is a name for that. You know, that's just a, um, it's, that's a narcissistic practice of, of trying to discredit somebody else to make yourself look smarter. You know, that's, it's clinical. You can look it up. I, you know, I'd like for him to maybe, maybe you need to go and Google the Dunning Kruger effect. I mean, that's part of psychology. That'll tell you what's all about, pal. Um, since then I, I deleted, right away I deleted the comment and, um, you know, and then, and then blocked him from commenting anymore because it wasn't just that one. He was going through my videos and it just knocking me down. And, um, you know, it's sad because listen, I, like I said, I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be. But for new hams, if you're out there, I'm hoping you can learn from me. You can see what I'm doing and experiment. All I do is experiment and put out my experimentation as I go along. I'm an engineer, and I know a little bit about physics, and I found this hobby, and I love it. I've always loved radio and enjoy, uh, you know, getting into something that uh, that's challenging for me mentally, you know. And um, and that's why I do what I do. Um, 
And, and so if, if you're if you're new and you're looking into it, I hope I can help you. I hope this video right here helps you because I want you to understand that you see these people that are beating you up, knocking you down or whatever. Don't listen to them. There, you know, there, there's no reason to. And, and, you know, I know, I guess in every form of life, these people exist. They really do. I just expected a lot more from ham radio than, uh, than what we call the sad hams. It's really pathetic. It, it really is. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's like a, it's called NPD. It's a narcissistic personality disorder. That's all it is. And, and, and it seems to really flare itself with the guys that have been around forever and, and think they know more than you. And let me tell you something. I've said this in other videos before. I don't care if you're a tech or an extra. You're, you're no different. We're all just, a, a, you know, we just have a privilege to go out and, and and be amateurs. We are amateurs. We get we have the privilege of going out and experimenting and playing radio. And that's really what it's all about. You know, I mean, we're not, you know, we're not Tesla or Marconi or, for that matter, Elon Musk. We're just guys out having fun and, and experimenting our hobby, learning. And that's what it's all about. Um you know, it's all about learning and, and, and getting to know what's going on. And, and you, you know who these guys are. I talked to other YouTubers and, um, and we kind of have the same discussion on this every time. You know, you'll have hundreds of, of thumbs up likes and there's that one down. You know what? That one guy, he's the problem, not you. I mean, if you're, if you're a YouTuber and you're out there doing that, uh, know that, that, um, the, the one down and hundreds up lets them know that it's just like somebody that's, um, inferiority complex, jealous, eaten up with it or whatever. I think that may be the problem with some of these older hams that have been around for, you know, 20, 30, 40 years and had to learn code to get their license or whatever. And they, they're just, you know, they, they can't, you know, they're just eaten up with it. They're, they're jealous of the new blood coming in. And this hobby needs new blood. My God, I, I wish. We had more younger people in this hobby. I enjoy it. It'd be more people to make contact with, more people to learn from and to learn with out there. So, um, so I'm just, like I said, for, for your older guys, if, if you're a gatekeeper, think, you check yourself, man. You're, you're, you're not, um, you're, you're not impressing anyone by trying to make everybody look like you're the smartest guy in the room. You look like an ass. You really do you have to everybody else. You may think you may feel better about yourself when you do it, but at the end of the day, Everyone else thinks you're a total jerk and that you need to stop. And for new guys, hey, don't, you, it'd be real easy to spot them. It, it, it's the hatefulness in, in comments on social media. I've gotten to the point where I just kind of, I'll go through occasionally, I'll, I'll, I'll like or, or comment on a, a, something in a Facebook ham radio group, but I, I just, I've almost quit posting in them. I'm, I'm done. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. And it's sad because these groups, have a wealth of knowledge and some amazing, awesome people in them that um, that just go out there and, and, and help. And that's really what it's all about. It's about helping each other and helping other people. Like I said, I don't know everything either. I, I, I try and I hope you can learn from me. There are a lot of other really good guys out there that I learn from and, and I, 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 I respect them as YouTubers. YouTube is a is a great place to learn from. I've, you know, all my licensing and, and testing, I, I've, I've watched videos on YouTube to prepare for, for testing and, and things like that. And, and if, if you're interested in some other great YouTubers, look on my channel page. I try to put my favorites down there. They're, those are guys I absolutely trust and think the world of. I mean, there, there are some really good people out there. I want to leave you a one parting thing that I, I've always, uh, this is one of my favorite quotes. I've actually put it in another, um, video that I, that I put out a while back. And that is by Albert Einstein that said, great spirits have always encountered a violent opposition for mediocre minds. That came from, um, from, from Albert Einstein, a, a great quote. And then, you know, on top of that also, there's other guys out there that, that I'm directing this to too. It's just not just the, uh, the sad hams, just the general guys that go around and say hateful things for, for no reason, you know, like your personal appearance or, or, or what's going on with you. The, the world's full of those. And, and, and if you're out there and you're on social media, Hey, shrug it off and keep going. Enjoy this hobby. This is the greatest hobby in the world. I love it. Ham radio. It's what it's all about. Hey, until next time, I'm Walt. K4OGO73, my friends. Thanks for hearing me out today. I had to get it off my chest. Bye-bye.